So I quit League of Legends like maybe seven years ago after I completely lost any motivation to play the game anymore because I just grinded the game for so long for so many years. But I do occasionally come back to the game when there's like a new champion that looks fun or like my friends decide to just like randomly play like a couple games or like a few ARIMs or something. This time my motivation was way because I saw some like random highlights on TikTok or something. I thought like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I, I want to try it, right? Before Huey, I was motivated for like three days to play the Fury. That went okay, but that got boring super fast. Anyways, in this video, I wanted to talk about my experience and advice for people who are stuck in iron, bronze and silver. Since even after, I don't know how many years, there are people that are still stuck there that have been stuck there this whole time. And I genuinely don't understand how that's possible. When I feel like it should be rather easy if you just take the time to like focus on yourself when it comes to gameplay. When I came back and decided to actually play ranked, I decided I should just try on a fresh account rather than just going straight to like gold or plat by doing placements on my other accounts. So I did that. The placement started in iron four and I ended up in iron two. The first thing I noticed in Iron and Bronze is like every single person is exactly the same as they were 10 years ago. Like I actually don't understand how that's possible. I don't know why people lock in stuff like Yasuo, Zed, Aurelia, and Vayne when they aren't even smurfing. Like they're Bronze and they're playing these champions. For what? It's like people watch streams and videos and they see people going crazy doing like 1v5 plays and stuff and they think that they can do it when they're Bronze when they should just be focusing on actually learning the basics of the game first on characters that are way easier and they do the almost exact same thing. For example, the three days I played Neferi, like three months after it was released, when it was already nerfed, I played that also on an alt account and it went from bronze two to gold with an 80% win rate and I literally don't even know what I was doing just because the champion is so simple. And then you compare that to like a, a Zed or something where you have to try, you have to like, you have to focus so much on what you're doing for you to get kills on Zed when there's so many champions you don't have to do that on. Anyways, what actually surprised me the most is that irons and bronze players have actually gotten better compared to back when I used to play. I expected iron players to just run in, miss every skill shot, get hit by every skill shot and just die over and over again the whole game. But genuinely, it just felt like any normal gold plus game from back in the day besides like a very small amount of things that happened that just like made me go crazy but that's just how league is sometimes the main thing i noticed that made the games way harder or even like sometimes cause losses is like the game will be fine and people will be ahead but then once the towers are down they don't know what to do that has to be one of the most frustrating parts of the whole thing the whole experience when the first tower goes down, people just run down, run down mid, or they just run around the map looking for stuff to do, literally getting nothing done and just stalling for the enemy team to catch up to them. Like the amount, the amount of times that Baron was up and the enemy inhibitor was down with the lane pushing with two people on my team running down mid with minions just to die over and over again and then flame their teammates is actually insane. Especially when everyone else, is, the other three people are pinging Baron telling them to come on. I don't actually mind that much of my teammates are just confused or they're just not great at dodging skill shots, right? Because it's bronze and silver. And I, well, it's iron, bronze, and silver. It doesn't actually bother me at all if my teammates are just confused or that they aren't good at dodging skill shots or they don't know how to ward or where to ward. Because that's what you expect from bronze, iron, and silver players, right? But I feel like I spent most of those games just managing my teammates rather than actually playing my own game. Because I have to ping every objective, every place, every ward placement, every fight positioning, every fight back off. I think overall in all those games together, I had to ping back off like a thousand times just to stop them from running into three people alone to try to fight them. It's like everyone thinks they're a hero for some reason in low elo. All that aside, the main problem I saw in bronze, silver, and iron is, well, also gold too, is for some reason it was worse than bronze. It was the worst in bronze though, is people were just super toxic and just like mentally unstable. 
way more in bronze than the other ones that I've experienced. Like I ended that series with like a 70% win rate. I think 90% of my losses were people just straight up inting on purpose or rage quitting the game after five minutes because someone else made a mistake on the team or someone said something to them that just made them not play the game anymore. I can't actually tell if people were more toxic in the past compared to now though, since I think maybe 40% of my games had people being toxic, but it wasn't at the same level as the past. I can only remember like maybe five games where someone told me to end my life, right? Which is very different compared to the past where like I would get those people every like three games depending on the rank that I'm playing in. I think my main advice for people that are stuck in iron, bronze, and silver, well gold too, is to play champions that don't require your team to help you do well. Or you will be extremely disappointed because your teammates will always let you down. They will always disappoint you. Never rely on your team in low elo. If you play mid, I recommend champions with high damage and very easy mechanics that can that makes you think what should i be doing next rather than you hyper focusing on what you on how to outplay the person you're playing mid because if you hyper focus like that you have a higher chance of being ganked it also takes away brain power that you could be using elsewhere like there are times when you just can't kill the mid laner because of the champion you're playing right but you can also think at that time like oh i can't kill them i can push the wave i can go somewhere else right instead of like trying to outplay and you end up dying and you get behind which is what I see happen to lots of people. Overall, your mindset when you're in iron, bronze, silver, and gold is you want, if you want to succeed, is you have to accept that maybe you're not that good and you should pick according to this, according to your skill level, a realistic skill level. You shouldn't be picking highlight champions that go in and outplay the entire team 1v5 because realistically you're not at that level yet. And I think instead of invest, trying to invest the time into trying to get at that level when you're already low, like low elo, it's better to just focus on improving your baseline for the game instead of trying to become the people you see on YouTube and streaming. For top lane, you have things like Malphite, Olaf, Trump, Trundle, Darius, Garen, etc. And if you're like mid lane, you have obvious stuff like Annie, Lux, Vagar, which is super easy and good examples of can easily kill them. The abilities are very simple. It's only a matter of how much you're thinking while you're playing the character. But you're not like hyper focused on anything when you're playing those characters. You you can easily look around to see what's happening when you play those characters. And obviously there's more than that in that list, but that's like a very simple list. So you can like get like an understanding of what I mean. Last but not least, I think mental health seems to be the main cause for people losing or giving up in Loila. Like sometimes I just suggest you just mute your entire team and the enemy team when you play. If you have problems with people saying things to you, mute pings, mute everything. And you should be taking on the job of a support text wise, where you're telling your team, good job if something happens, you're telling your team, guys, let's do this. You're saying if someone does anything remotely good, someone escapes a gank, someone gets a kill, someone's not doing too well in the lane, you say, guys, let's chill. It's okay. We can gank, we can help you. Like you need to take on that role because if you don't and your top lane makes a mistake and dies or they get ganked, they're just going to be tilted. And then you're going to have your jungler probably flaming them. You're going to have mid probably flaming them. Someone else is probably flaming them and they're already tilted. So they're just going to end up playing worse, right? So that doesn't actually help. That's when the game ends up just going way past being able to win. So I think people's, keeping people's mental health in check leads to a lot more wins than people think it does. Being positive, being the one positive person on your team to balance out the people being negative makes a big difference, I think. Anyways, I think that's like the basic advice I have for climbing. But if you have any other advice or tips or suggestions, let me know in the comments.